Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we are doing uh, the same paper 2018, the final term examination, IB sector, but starting with question number two and three. Let's start. The function is given us f of x is equals to a plus b upon x and the g and f of 2 is equal to 3. So just we need to put f of 3 is equals to a plus b upon 3 and f of 3 is equal to 2. So I will write here 2 is equals to a plus b upon 3. This is the first equation. Even you can uh, arrange this equation by taking LCM or the easiest method is what the whole equation will be multiplied by the LCM. By this way, there will be no number in the denominators. This will become 6 is equal to 3a and this 3 will be cancelled b. This is your first equation or you can make also b as a subject. Equation 1. Second is we have relation the f inverse of uh, 7 is equal to minus 2. I want to say something new here. What is this mean actually? You know, uh, we can do one thing more here. I can also write this f inverse, I can shift right hand side. So this will become 7 is equals to f of 2. This is a new thing. I don't need to make the f inverse. I just make, sorry, this is minus 2. Like f of minus 2 is also 7. It's the same thing. It's a very important thing. And now I will substitute minus 2 here. So minus 2 is equal to a plus b upon minus 2. This is equal to 7. And 7 equals to a. This plus minus is minus b upon 2. And the whole equation will be multiplied by 2. So this will become 14 is equals to 2a minus b. Now what I can do, this equation I am writing here, 6 is equals to 3a plus b and I am using elimination method, this is equation number 2. So when I add this equation, when I add this equation, this b will be cancelled out. So 2n, uh, 2a and 3a will become 5, I am writing here, is 5a and 14 and 6 will become 20. So the value of a is coming 4. Very simple. This 4 I can substitute here. So 6 is equals to 3 times 4 plus b. So b will be equals to uh, 12 minus 12 and b is equals to minus 6. So this, this is the way this we got the value of a and b first of all. So our equation is, our equation is f of x is equals to a is 4 and b is minus means, this minus means, when this was plus, this minus 6 means this plus minus is minus, so I will write only minus b. So this is your final equation, sorry, 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 this is uh, plus minus uh, 6 upon x. So the f of x is coming or minus 6 upon x and this is your final equation. Okay. Now what's the next step? Find the value of a and b. We got it. And the image of element my, like minus 3 under x. So it's like there is no problem. Uh, this is equation. And I have to find the image. Remember image means f of x. Remember. And it means I have to substitute minus 3. So minus 3, I will write here minus 3, f of minus 3 means 4 minus 6 upon minus 3. So minus 3 is equals to 4 minus minus is plus, this is coming 2. So f of minus 3 is coming 6 and we have done it. This is very, very important step I did here because I did not make the f inverse equation. I simply, I can do it. I can do it. There is no problem. Moving to part B. This is like one more question, a surprise for me, but this is one of the typical, like uh, a technical question actually. Let's see. Uh, f x square minus 1 is equals to x power 4 minus 7 x square and plus k1. It means when I substitute, like we had, we have an equation here like this and we substitute it here, what? 
x squared minus 1. So, this equation is becoming like this. After substituting x minus 1, x squared minus 1, this is the equation when you substituted x squared minus 1. Let's see, what can I do here? What I need here, when I, like, suppose I want to make this x squared minus 1. How can I make x squared minus 1? First of all, x squared and whole square, like I want x squared minus 1 means uh, x squared minus 2 of the formula a, b plus b squared. Here I will substitute these values like 1, x squared and 1, only these values. First let me check, what's the result? This is coming x power 4, I'm just writing here, I'm writing on this right side. This is coming x power 4 result minus this result is coming 2x squared and this is coming plus 1 okay this is the result of this part but i can write this whole part as complete square form like here x squared minus 1 whole square it means the same thing is here i'm writing here but actually something is missing here the value of this part is here and we need this part. So it means what is missing? x4 is there. Minus 7x squared means we have already minus 2x squared. So what is left? Minus 5x squared because when we add it, it's coming 7x squared complete. And plus k, I'm just writing here. Here. Okay, we have adjusted. For this part, I'm writing here now. For I'm writing this part here for like this was the part which we left. Okay, I have to make the same thing here, minus bracket, I have to write here x squared. So, if you want x squared here, what you will take common? You will take 5 common, okay, 5 is common. And this uh, x squared is there, this will become, because of minus is common, this will become minus sign. And, you know, I cannot take common 5 from here, but when I take common from any of the number, when common is not possible, I will write like this. I will write like this. Listen, k1 upon 5. This means when you multiply this 5 with this one, like 5 multiplied by k1 upon 5, the 5 have cancelled, only k1 is left. This is possible. Okay. Now just observe this equation seems to be like this x squared minus 1. It means this is x and this is also x. So it means so your function is f of x is equals to x power square minus 5x. This is the original equation actually. This is the original equation when you substitute it. Now, I'm moving to second part now. What I have to do because we have to subtract here. The question is here actually. Okay, let me do the second part. Second equation. So in the second equation, you see f of x cubed minus 2 is equals to x6 minus 9x cubed and plus k2. Okay, what can we do now? What we can do, we have to write f x cubed minus 2 means I have to write the whole equation square minus 2 times this two brackets and plus this bracket. And I have to write here the whole value x cube x cube and we have minus 2 means 2 here and 2 here now what is the result of this part the result of this part is coming x6 minus 2 times 2 is 4 x cube and 2 squared is 4 okay the result is coming this but what is missing you know when i write this in the complete square form it's coming like this x cube minus 2 whole cube whole square we have done it now, something is missing here to write. Okay, what we have to write here, just check it out. The result of this part is coming this. x cube and x cube is same. Sorry, x6, x6 is same. We have now minus 4x cube and here we have minus 9x cube. So, what is missing here? Uh, minus 9x cube, we have to write here minus 5x cube because now it's balanced. This is balanced, this is balanced and I have to just copy plus k2. Now, what I have to do here, I have to take minus 5 as common, minus 5 as common. So, x cube, x cube, I am writing here x cube, 
and this minus mean this will become also minus this will become k square upon 5 like this k square i am writing with this sign k sorry k 2 upon 5 and bracket close and this i am write bracket in white now just check do we have do we have the same thing here as we have done here x cube minus 2 now check f of x is equals to this is x square minus 5 times x do we have the same equation <clears throat> yes same equation but one thing the requirement is not this requirement is k2 minus k2 minus k1 what is k2 just check it here when i observe this part like uh, uh, k2 minus 1 so k2 minus 1 sorry k1 upon 5 k1 upon 5 is minus is equal to this check this is minus 1 because x square x square minus 1 x square minus 1 should be here i write minus 1 so the k1 is coming minus minus cancel out is coming 5 k the value of k1 is 5 now k2 this k2 upon 5 is equal to 2 and k2 value is coming 10 now this 10 minus 5 is coming 5 and this we have done this is the way this we did this question b of one like question number two moving to question number three now in question number three the gradient of the curve this at this is same as the gradient of the okay uh this question normally what i do i think this is uh like a differentiation actually uh, and this is chapter number 15 in additional mass book and I'm surprised why they have given this question because this we can do by differentiation and let me do it y is equals to 8x minus 3x squared and when we differentiate is coming dy upon dx is coming 8 minus 6x this is the differentiation and for this you have to see, watch my video like playlist chapter number 15 differentiation great this is called the gradient in differentiation and 8 minus 6x and we have to substitute the value of x here what is the value of x the value of x is coming a so the gradient is coming 8 minus 6a okay and they ask the second thing is the same gradient of the curve when this Okay, I'm writing this equation y is equals to x square minus 6x plus 1. And I have to differentiate dy upon dx. So this has become 2x minus 6. This is the formula to how we differentiate, and this is called m. And x, the value of x is 4 here. So I write 4 here, this is minus 6. So m is coming uh, like 8 minus 6 is 2 okay this is same because the question is given the, the same gradient so we can write that 8 minus 6a is equals to 2 so 8 minus 2 is equal to 6a and 6 is equals to 6a and the value of a is coming 1 so now this is we have done the first like here now the same equation like y is equals to the first equation y equals to 8x minus 3x square at a b so a is 1 and b is here so just put uh, y is like b and x is 1 so b is equals to 8 minus 3 and b is equals to 5 the the coordinates are 1 comma 5 which is here the value of a and b uh, this question maybe maybe we can do by you no know, using the differentiation let i will check this question but um, like mostly this question is normally done with the help of differentiation because the question is here this curve like this is the curve uh, minus x square this is the curve and the second curve is like this here we can write here second curve and the line is here like this the line is here this is called the tangent 
this is called the gradient and the second line is having the same gradient like this is had the same gradient like this and means they are parallel simple so the gradient it was like here 8 minus 6a and the gradient was here 2 and b equated and this coordinate was a comma b so when we got the value of a we can substitute moving to question number b of 3 now in part b what we have to do a point a the p is given x y and this point a is 3 2 and it's given such that the distance from the y-axis is equal to distance from a. Okay. Now uh, y-axis means the coordinates on y-axis are always 0, comma y. So I can write the coordinate y is 0, comma y. And the condition is given the distance of py. Yes, py is equal to the distance of py is equal to distance of uh, I think is pa. Yeah. Now, what we have to do, I have to find Py first. When we when we find Py, Py using the distance formula, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Y and Py, I can write x minus 0, x minus 0 whole square, and then y minus y whole square. Y, y cancel, x minus 0 is only x, so Py is coming under root x square, and we can also write x only. Second is we have to find Pa now. Pa means I have to write x2 minus x1. So uh, Pa, you can write 3 minus L or x minus 3, there is no problem. So I'm writing x minus 3 whole square and y minus 2 whole square. And I can write here like Px, and both are because both are equal. So I write here x is equal to under root. Uh, x square i want to expand this x square minus 2ab means 6x and plus 3 squared is 9 this i have to expand by using formula y square minus 2 to the 4y and plus 4 and this will become when i make the square both the sides this is cancelled and it's coming only x squared is equals to x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 4y and plus 4. This x square when I shift in right hand side is cancel only it's minus uh, 6x is left plus 9 and 4 is coming 13 plus y square and minus 4y when I arrange it is coming y square then uh, minus 4y then minus 6x and then 13 is equals to and zero i think so this is the right equation what we have to do it here same and we have done question number b of three so by this way we have done this question number two and three i hope this this video is useful for the zero semester students wish you all the best for your exams thank you so much and have a nice day